uh, but I, I was fortunate enough to get a couple of tracks in on Savage Life One. You put which ones did you do on on that one? Uh, shit. Uh, Cause I'm. Hard it. But if I just so happen, wasn't Retarded and, uh, Okay And uh You can hear it He can hear the beat <laughs> Stop Retar playing Stop playing Man, I hope these little niggas ready Y'all heard the streets steady yelling for women I'm telling you niggas stop playing Stop, stop playing. playing Yeah, I did them too Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV Shout out to E. He the reason you see me Lil Wayne was changing with the times, is what I'm saying. That's what made him different, right? Yeah. 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 But he was not only changing with the times, he was changing with himself, too. With himself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 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 Uh, he grew up take right in front of that, us, right? Huh? He oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, he grew up right in front of us. Yep. Yeah. What What about, um, I had a dilemma on here. I had to check some dudes on here. I, you might not have been watching the episodes when I checked them. Um <laughs> And you might not agree with me, but you this hit kind of close to home down there uh, with Mayo Nim and all the people you were rocking with. I told people that Boosie make great songs. Boom, he gonna drop you some great songs. But I don't think Boosie has had a better set project than Webby did with Savage Life One and Two. Just a just an all around pro, you know what I mean? Just put together album boom drop it i don't it's hard to get around savage life one and two man Sa especially savage life one <laughs> especially savage life one savage life one was put together really 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 well you were, were like during that time you had already moved away from them well or you yeah. were still around that that whole family yeah we were still in touch uh, but I, I was fortunate enough to get a couple of tracks in on savage life one you put which ones did you do on on that one uh shit. Uh, Cause I'm hard it. I'm stacking rapping, but if I just so happen was retarded and uh okay and uh you can hear it. He can hear the beat. <laughs> Stop Retar playing. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. playing? Yeah, I did them too. Really? Yeah. So how was it retarded? Like when you did it, did, were you actually, you in the stool with, with Webby when y'all done it? Mm -hmm. Or I you, made you, you made it be and just sent it to him? Yeah. Were you in Dallas or down there still? Because you was down there too. I was in Dallas. So you was in Dallas, you had came yeah. back. Yeah, what happened was they had got the deal and they pretty much almost finished up the Savage Life One album. And they were looking for some other stuff. And uh, I sent them some tracks and uh, at the time, they were recording the album in Orlando. Okay. So I flew out to Orlando and, and dropped it. They they had rented a house out there, and they had a studio in there. And uh, I dropped it uh, out there, and she put the put the lyrics on it. And that was that was it. It was man. hard. Yeah, yeah. They, I, I ain't they had to get away from Baton Rouge to record the album because you know them boys they they be out there heavy. So they having a good time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they had to get them away from they was they, yeah. where they was uncomfortable. Why they yeah. wasn't thinking about everything. Yeah. That was the first time I ever flew on a plane, man. That really? was back in, uh, what was that, 2004? You went five. down there? Yeah, yeah, I flew out there to Orlando, yeah. And and y'all hung out? or how Yeah, was we it? hung out in the, the rent house. We were just all like in one house. You know who all was it? Oh, man, who was it? It was me, Webby was there, Mel was there, Turk was there. Um, Shit, I really, and some other people I really didn't didn't know like friends and family and stuff of them or you know just people that like homeboys or yeah of uh webby or you know i i didn't really i don't really remember any, any but when names, you but. when you get in an environment like that you knew you was locked in for that album or y'all were just hanging uh, out working at that point yeah we were just working just working didn't just really working. know I, i'd already sent the tracks and they pretty much decided that they wanted them wow at that point so i just flew out there to, to lay them down Okay. Yeah. Explain lay them down to the people that don't understand what the heck you mean when you say <laughs> you out there to lay them down, right, babe? Yeah. What the hell you lay them down? What? Well, shit, man. Back then, if this was like before laptops, this was before digital audio workstations and all of that. I think all of that stuff was just coming in the in the play. I was a little, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say late to the party in that, but mm -hmm. I still had my my old way and method of doing it, so that's what I was sticking with. But anyway, like. You used to have to deal with hardware, and what hardware is like a keyboard, 
or like a sound module or uh, any other uh, uh, drum machines or anything like that. Uh, nowadays, it's all within the laptop. They used to be all separate pieces with us. Wow. So uh, laid the track down. I had to take my, my keyboard, my drum machine, and my Roland JV-1080 sound module all out there to Orlando. We plug it into the studio. They sync it up. And uh, they sync it up through MIDI. Like everything, all of those three machines were locked together. You know what I'm saying? And they all time synced all with each other. So when you push the play button on the record or the, or the uh, console, it kicks it off. Wow. And you land the tracks in real time. So as, as the tracks are playing, you land it in real time on a, I think we were working with Pro Tools. We, we were at least working with Pro, Pro Tools. Pro Tools at that time. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Pro Tools was still kind of new. So just land it, land each track, cymbal, kick, snare, sample, horn, whatever, all in real time. And then uh, then they will come back and rap over it. Okay, they will rap. Would come, come in and work, uh, rap over it. That's to get it, the technique down to where it sounds exactly how they want to get it. Well, it's to actually make the song. Make the song. Yeah, um, to record the song. How I many times, Webber didn't take a lot of time doing it back during this time. Nah. He, you know, yeah. he, he he loved that music. Yeah. I love the way he don't stop rapping. Yeah. Seems like he ain't gonna never stop it. When he start going, it just, it would keep going, keep yeah. going. I could hear him just, you did, it wasn't gonna be no stop. Like it almost wasn't gonna be no uh, chorus or none of that stuff. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You notice that, right? Yeah. And I, I yeah. love that because it made it feel like the momentum was just not letting down. Yeah. Um, his style, man, his, his style is like, one, one thing I really like about his style, he always manages to sneak some funny shit in a song, like make it sound funny. You know what I'm saying? I really can't think of a line right now, but I always remember laughing at a lot of his songs. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like Beyonce, like Trina, like a big booty ass black diva. You know, he always, he, he, he got a good way of, of talking to gangster. But then he'll make it sound funny, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. So yeah, did you he, guys he's unique like that? You okay? So after that, you basically you you stayed down there how long? Uh, I think it was like three or four days, something like three that. Three or four days. Yeah, it wasn't a long time. Then it didn't take long getting it done. No. Yeah. So I think the most thing when I look at Webby and Boosie, like I said, they both dope. As far as you, you patriotic when you, when you think about artists today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.